Happy 4th of July, everyone. Yes, we have a, a 4th of July paint scheme. It's called Burst, and it looks like a firework to me. So, I, you know, it doesn't really match the actual sponsors, but hey, it's the 4th of July. So before we get started, I just want to hopefully wish everyone a, uh, a good 4th of July. Uh, if you want to watch this while you're looking at fireworks, then cool. Um, but if you don't want to, it is completely fine. Uh, hopefully everyone's going to have a good night, be safe, all that. Um, and if you have dogs, take care of them. I'll be taking care of mine as he will think, he's going to think it's like World War II going on outside. So uh, that's kind of unfortunate. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members as always for supporting the channel. You guys are the best. And uh, comment down below, comment down below. Let me know what you might do for 4th of July. I'm going to um, play some video games and relax. My life is not very special. But before I do that, I'm gonna have to go through some pain. Guys, we're going to Atlanta, and we will have to face the consequences of our actions from the previous race, and that is what life is about. You have to just, you know, whatever happens, you gotta either reap the benefits of what your, of your actions, or you gotta reap the, the consequences of your actions. And um, unfortunately, at the uh, previous race, we made a lot of contact, and you know, the car got damaged, and well, we are going to have to survive Atlanta with a much weaker car. Uh, let's go to the team management real quick just to check on the shop additions. And there's two races left on the engine power with everything in the garage being already built and repaired. So we cannot do anything. And we that, that damaged race car that we took over the last race is what we're going to have to use for Atlanta. Now Atlanta... I think other than Homestead, Atlanta is probably the toughest mile and a half track in terms of difficulty. So we are going to struggle. So we have that gap of around 140 points to Kevin Harvick, who is in sixth. Our goal is to finish in fifth. The last few races of this season is going to be difficult. We saw it last season compared to like once we got through like Kansas Lowe's it really, you know, started to suffer. Uh, so we have Atlanta, and then Phoenix is eh. North Carolina is also eh. And then Homestead. I mean, we've only done one race there, but that was not a good experience. We were very, very slow. I think we were running in the 30s at Homestead. So the last four races here are going to be difficult. So we have 140 point gap, uh, gap to work with. Every position is going to matter. We're going to have to stay focused here and make sure we do the best possible job we can. So let's get right into it. Let's look at what the car is going to be. It is going to be, and this is the issue I was, you know, talking about. Chassis number eight was our best chassis until we ripped it to shreds. <laughs> and now we're going to have to go with a 72 tire grip, 68 tire wear. It's, you know, overall chassis number seven is the better chassis. So that is what we're going to go with. The engine is the real suffering point. This should have been around a 73 power engine, but with the consequences of our actions, it's going to be a 70 power engine. That is a big hit at a track like Atlanta. Really, really fast. It's it, That one is what hurts my soul a little bit. And then the same thing with the downforce. Should have been around 71, 72. Instead, we're down to a 69. So it's a car rating of 70. That is basically three points off of what we can with our best car of a 73. And uh, I'm estimating this will be like a top 15 car. We're going to have to try to eke out a top 10 if possible. But there really is not going to... I mean, unless unless cautions go crazy and, and, you know, there's some strategy involved. I don't really see... You know, what you get is what you get. How fast you're going to be is kind of where you're going to finish. There's no tricks you can kind of play at Atlanta, if you know what I mean. So we're kind of just shackled to whatever this car is going to allow us to do. Oh, I nailed three and four. Yes, okay. That's the best lap I can do. Woo! Okay, it makes me a little bit calm. That should be pretty decent. Let's see, is it in the 29s? Nah, uh, 30.0. Where does that put us? Third! Let's go. That's better than I thought. Okay, but I have experience with this. I don't think it's the qualifying pace that's the issue. It's the race pace that's the problem. Junior, Gordon, us, Newman, Rudd, Martin, Sadler, Stewart, Harvick. Okay. Let's see how this goes. We're live from the Atlanta Motor Speedway in Hampton, Georgia for today's running of the Georgia 500. I think we're in for some incredible racing, judging by this track's history. There sure have been some incredible finishes here at Atlanta. In the March race of 2001, Kevin Harvick beat Jeff Gordon to the checkered by mere inches to win his first NASCAR Winston Cup race. Given the circumstances and the emotion of that victory, that is one that people will talk about for decades to come. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will begin the race in the top five in points. Being in the top five is a huge boost in self-confidence. I know everyone on that team is very happy with their performance this season, and rightfully so. 
the 83 car is starting up a bit of a rivalry recently with Ward Burton. Every driver in NASCAR wins the cup has had a bit of trouble on the racetrack at one time or another. So long as they keep their composure, everything should work out okay. Terry Labonte has been called the Iceman because of his cool demeanor under pressure. But maybe the nickname Iron Man is more appropriate. That's right. Labonte set a record for consecutive race starts with 655. That's over 20 years without missing a race. Can do it's a long race 81 laps i don't have a chevy logo on the back of my car wheel right right there look the chevy logo is not there <laughs> it's because the car is white oh man and bye bye there we go so don't you just love the gearing on the car so oh look at that look at that throwback paint scheme for the 97 of kurt bush that is it looks like my toy car oh my goodness the one thing we cannot do this race under any circumstance is get damage i just can't do it any slight bit of damage Cannot afford it, so I'm going to be very easy these first few couple of laps. Stay in the draft. I know it's not a plate race like it is in the modern day, but essentially you need to stay in the draft. Got to be patient. I'm going to just hold down on Kurt Busch because he wants to block, and I'm going to have to be very careful. I have no angle to enter the corner, but the few adjustments that we have made to the setup for the first time, I've, I've adjusted like the fender flare and the rear spoiler angle to try and get a little bit more of a yaw in the corners to get the car to turn a little bit more while risking it maybe getting loose later in the run, but I don't think it will. And I need to clear Kurt. Okay, all right, come on, get. We need Kurt. Kurt, we are we are just hurting ourselves right now. What, what do you want to do here? That horsepower, that minus three on horsepower is starting to hurt me. Come on, come on, Kurt. Let me let me go. Let me go, please. Thank you. Right right there. Come on, right there. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get back to Mark Mark. Come on. This is how this race is going to go. Just constant battling. Got Kurt Busch and Harvick right underneath us. And and Jimmy Johnson as well. This is like this is why I, say, I think it's a top 15 car. We're currently in 10th, but it's just going to be a lot of side-by-side -side racing. Got to make sure we don't make contact with anyone. I'm kind of just accepting my fate of just staying on the high side here. Just letting them go until we can get clear. There we go. Now that we are clear, going to hop down here and just stay in this pack of cars just don't lose the pack of cars it's going to get worse as the run goes on our tire wear at this track is uh, usually not very good so it's going to get worse we just got to make sure we stay in touch our pit crew is going to have to have a flyer today all right they're, they're going to have to carry us this race if not we're screwed i just don't have the horsepower i need come on just clear me just clear me just clear me there we go okay Whew. Got around Sadler. Got Dale Jarrett approaching on the bottom. Just got to keep an eye on him. Mark Martin's looking a little bit slow, which is actually not what I need. Come on, Mark. And here comes Dale Jarrett. And we're going to have to let Jarrett go. So we gain a position, then we lose a position. That's just how it's going to be. Let's follow Jarrett. Guys, stay in touch. Uh, come on, cart. Come on. Just, just please, just hang on, tires. Hang on, I beg. We still, oh, my God, we're not even halfway on fuel. This run's going to be like 30 laps. Oh, boy. Okay. Just, just keep going. Come on. I think that pack of cars is gone. I don't think we're going to see them again unless we get a caution. So we are in the pack of 10th through like 17th, which is exactly where I thought we'd be. I'm going to try and push really hard. I maybe can take some wedge out of the car to loosen it up a bit, but I don't think it really is going to help that much. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think that was Ward Burton uh, that got on the wall there for a second. And uh, never mind. There goes that pack. All right, Walter, you want to push me or something? No, you're just going to pass me because I can't enter the corner. Yeah. There he goes. Okay. Just, can you, uh, you know, you're running an American paint scheme on the 4th of July. That's actually very impressive. Good job. All right, this is ideal. We're a little bit faster than Waltrip, but I'm just staying behind him to see if we can catch up to Newman because I just, I can't make a pass. I have to back up the corners, uh, but, you know, we are a little bit faster than Waltrip on the straights. We've got everyone behind us. The pack is, you know, the field, it's, it's not too spread out i mean it's it's spread out but it's not you know what i mean it's not like super if you look at the mini map it's not like super spread out so this is good we just gotta kind of think bigger picture here that's gonna be a long race so i really don't care about passing michael waltrip i'm trying to push him along to get up to ryan newman and then we can maybe try to make a pass but right now you can see him a little bit loose on entry that's why i probably can't uh bring the wedge uh down like i'd want it to 
because the car, as the, the run goes on, it is getting looser and looser as it goes, which actually is probably helping us a little bit, so this is good. I think this is just the speed we're going to have, and we're going to have to kind of handle it, and the fact that we're running P11 makes me pretty happy. I thought it would be a little bit worse, so looks like P8 and above, they're gone, but we have Newman and Kurt Busch, it looks like, right up there that we can probably get. It's time to get around a wall trip if we can. Oh, my God. I'm backing out of that. I'm backing out. Oh, boy. I'm backing out. Yep. Even on worn tires going through the trioval, it's a little bit iffy. And I was not going to stay in the throttle and go three wide through the trioval. That would have been a stupid move. But that's what happens when I try making a pass. It's just I don't have that that horsepower that I need to actually do it. But you can see once I'm in the draft, there we go. I mean, we could just easily pull right through. So uh, Jeff Burton, probably in a good way, has gotten around us. And we kind of replaced Waltrip with Burton. And I think he looks like he's genuinely faster. But now we have to start thinking about pit stops. So we have 5.7 left. Uh, we can easily split this in thirds, and I think that's the way to go, especially when you don't have the fastest car. So we need to split this into thirds. We're looking 27 uh, and then 54 to 81. That's probably what we're looking at. So lap 27 is when we are looking to pit, and Jeff Burton is definitely faster. We just got to stay with him. All right, is anyone coming down pit road? Doesn't look like it. Books, books, loose. Books, books, books. Let's be careful this first time around. Uh, transition onto the banking. Woo. All right, slow it down to 70 miles per hour. There we go. Just going to coast right in. I would say that's a pretty good job. Now, uh, listen. <laughs> if they make a mistake, we're falling back to like 18th place. So that's why I'm a little bit nervous right now. Because there's a lot at stake when it comes to when we don't got the best car and we got to rely on our pit crew. I get nervous. It's the 4th of July. You guys have new fire suits. I don't like how slow they got to the right sides. I'm not feeling good about this. I'm not feeling good about it. It's 8.6 on the right. Just don't make a mistake. Just don't make a mistake, please. Okay. You know, it's slow, but it's at least it's not like an 18-second stop. That would have killed me. 16.7 is fine. No one has come down pit road, so we'll make up that 7, 8 tenths on the track, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to stay down here for a second. And now we're going to blend right back up. And hopefully you're going to let him go, and we're going to block right there. Thank you very much. All right, let's go. No, we don't get to take advantage that long. <laughs> Lead cars are pitting. It's been one lap. Yeah, okay. Well, only the leader is pitting. It looks like, yeah, no, no. It looks like some of the top guys are pitting. Okay, so we got like one to two laps with our fresh tires before everyone else comes in, but you could see the difference that it makes. Hopefully we can make up that seven tenths. All right, it looks like it worked. There's Kurt Busch, and there... How did Jeff Burton get around Kurt Busch? Okay, kind of interesting. So there's Jeff Burton. Hello, Mr. Burton. And we basically have clawed back our time. Now, you know, we have uh, two lap older tires, which probably will make a difference. But as long as we stay right here uh, with our Sitco friend in front and our Rubbermaid friend behind, that is all we want, okay? Just let me fit right here like a good old condom, you know? Just, just fits like a perfect glove. Slight problem. I cannot. I cannot stay with him. All right. There's, he's just pulling away. This is a problem. I'm trying as hard as I can. I'm driving this thing as hard as I can, but it does not look like I can stay with good old Jeff Burton. But we have cracked the top ten. So that's good news. There's Ryan Newman, the fresher tires. See you later. The fresher tires take advantage. We are in the top ten. You know, if we could finish in the top ten, I would find that to be a rousing success <laughs> for this race. And that's all we really have to do. For the points, let's just top 10 our way into fourth place. That'd be ideal. Uh, Kurt, you might have to come around me because I have lost. I've lost Burton. He's gone. He's out of here. Guys, my right index finger is, is just struggling. I'm, you know, you know that, that situation where you just press on the controller or on the trigger as hard as you can? It's not going to make you go faster, but you're just pressing on it super hard anyways. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just pressing really hard. Why <coughs> oh, God, I'm dying. Why is he running up the track? Can someone please tell Kurt Busch to run lower? I really, like, why Why is he going up there? I, I just need a drafting partner. Now we got uh, Mr. Fresh Tire, Ryan Newman, uh, behind us with also Mr. Fresh Tire, Bobby Labani. This is going to be a tough race. I just let him go, and now because he's running three lanes up the track, now underneath them, and we're just losing time. This is not how I wanted this to go. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, that was close. I cannot let these two guys behind get through. we got to just make sure we stay in this little four-car pack. Kurt, for the love of God, Kurt, just just get lower. Ay, ay, ay. This is just, this is not how I envisioned this going. Why are you running so high up the track? Now, you might be asking, well, why don't you just pass him? 
I've tried. I don't have the speed to pass him. <laughs> no, no, no. I slipped. Oh, my God. This is the worst case scenario. This is the worst case scenario. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh don't damage the car. Don't damage the car. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay. We got to get around, Mr. Bush. This has to happen. Please, car. Please turn. Please turn. I'm trying to get this thing to turn. Come on. All right. Pull me. Pull me. Pull me, guys. Don't, don't run away. Please don't run away. Oh, how am I not getting the straight line speed, even when in the draft? How is that possible? Please. Please. Get through. No. Oh, that's basically a slide drop. <laughs> Okay, we're clear. All right, lap cars, I need you to do us a favor, please. Inshallah, I hate you. Oh, my goodness. I, I seriously hate you. Why why are we just switching back and forth for no reason? Do you just want a 69 position me all the time? What is wrong with you? Can we just run the bottom, please. Thank you. See, this, this is called, you know, cooperation, teamwork. I know we're not teammates, but just run the bottom of the track, and I'll stay behind you, you fraudulent fraud. Kurt, go low. Kurt, go low. They literally moved out of the way for Newman and Labani. You have to go low, Kurt. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. No, 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 no. The bottom lane, Kurt. The bottom lane. We got to go to the bottom lane, sir. Bottom. All right. You're going to get around Biffle. You're going to go to the bottom. Do you understand me? I'm going to talk it to existence. You're going to the bottom of the racetrack. There you go. That's what I want to see. Oh, God have mercy. Almost spun it. Okay, now don't leave me, please. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please, 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 please. Biffle, thank I don't know why you checked up, but thank you so much for checking up. I really appreciate that. Now I gotta catch back up to Kurt. Don't let him leave. Yo, let's go. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I'm losing him. This is the saddest day of my life. I am losing him. Unless I can miraculously, miraculously hit three and four like the greatest goddamn three and four in my life. To be fair, that was kind of close. I'm not. I'm really trying to carry way too much speed, which is why I'm sliding up. <laughs> oh God. Oh yeah, we lost him. It's over. Ah, my hopes and dreams of a top ten. Can I just get to lap 57 already? Oh, they're pitting. That is a short, short pit. Did I get my calculations wrong? 57, 67, 77. Oh, I guess I did a little bit. Uh, wait. So, what's 27 laps from 81? 54. 54. Yeah, 27-54. Why was I saying 57? Okay, but that's a very early short pit. They have to go 32 laps on fuel. Can they do 30? I guess they can. That's why they're short pitting, but 32 laps? That is a very interesting call. Uh, we're going to go a little bit far. There's actually a good amount of cars on pit road, too. So all those guys are basically saying this is the short, short pit. We want our fresh tires now. I'm going to run another four laps to get to 54 and just keep, stay on the strategy of splitting it in thirds hopefully we can uh catch kurt bush towards the end of the race that's gonna be our uh hopes and prayers luckily the last three laps Hermie sadler came out of pit road he's actually pretty quick uh well not quick for being on fresh tires but basic basically matching our speed so i was able to use this draft a little bit but books books loose books 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 i gotta be aggressive here i gotta be aggressive and be very aggressive i'm not gonna speed but i'm gonna be aggressive 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 there we go all right so that was, I think, to me, that felt like a better entry than the first time around. So now we just need the pit crew, guys. I, I, you know, I don't always ask this from you guys. I need that 15-second stop. I need the lightning speed. No, it's not. It took three seconds to even hit the lugs on the rights. Come on. It's slow. It's 8.7. Why? Ah, I needed just one, in this race specifically, I needed one good pit stop, and you give me two 16.8 and 16.9 second stops. That's just not good enough. Come on, man. Uh, I don't even see Kurt Busch. Where is he? <laughs> oh, God, I don't even, where is he? Oh, no, we're not even in the same stratosphere. Okay, well, things have gone terribly wrong now, and I am sad. We're behind Rusty Wallace and we're uh, behind Matt Kenseth. I've not seen those two this entire race. So uh, that is a very clear indication that the two slow... What the? <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> I mean, you're not even really like a rival rival. That was so confusing. Okay, anyways, we don't have damage on the car. Doesn't matter. But yeah, those two, uh, that's... What is it? I mean, basically, we're talking about... If we had a good pit stop, a second and a half on pit road, twice, three seconds on, I mean, more than three seconds on track, uh, we should, yeah. All right, well, we're not going to finish in the top ten, so unless there's a caution, it's kind of it. I just got to go salvage this top 15 finish. Oh, uh, what's going on here? We got a couple of slow cars. I think someone hit the wall, but it's fine. That's Michael Waltrip, 
Rusty Wallace ahead of us. We got Sterling Marlin. I don't know if Sterling Marlin is on the same strategy as us. It looks like he actually might be coming down pit road. He definitely looks like he's coming down pit road. Uh, but Wallace and Waltrip, those two guys are on the same strategy. We're going to get around Rusty Wallace, and we should be able to get around Michael Waltrip right here. No, they're not. Wait, no. Walt Wallace is. Waltrip isn't. I don't know what Waltrip's doing. He's on old tires. But Rusty Wallace, this is for a position. And for money, remember, this is our rival, technically, that we have to beat for the associate sponsor. So uh, we got to finish ahead of him. We do have about five lap pressure tires, maybe, so... We'll use that towards the end of the race, but right now, if he's fast enough to stay in front, I don't really care about following behind him. We need to gain some time. I do not see my toy car of Kurt Busch anywhere to be seen, so I'm a little bit worried that he is out of here. And here come the guys coming out of pit road. We will see where we end up. Hopefully, we're still in the top 15. Can you please let me go? We're like, we're like identical speed, and that's not a good thing. One of us has to be faster than the other. The fact that we're basically identical is not good. Uh, yep, I don't care if you're my rival. Just oh, and now we got a slow car here. Just gonna use that real quick. Thank you very much. All right. Oh boy, this is gonna be threading the needle. Oh boy. Oh boy. And never mind. We're just gonna stay behind, right behind Bobby Labonte. So Labonte was in front of us. He pitted ten laps later. He was around two, two and a half th uh, seconds in front of us. And yeah, he pitted 10 laps later, but he still comes out in front of us. So that just shows you that I think, you know, obviously if we had better pit stops, we'd be ahead of Bobby Labonte. But uh, without the pit stops, and like he's going to drive away from us on 10 lap pressure tires, it's not going to be a competition. So that's a little bit sad. Um, but right now we are 17th. I'm hoping it's not over when it comes to green flag stops. I'm hoping we still, uh, you know, ideally 12th is kind of where I want to be. That's the 22 aboard Burton. I think he's on the, uh, he, he short fitted and he did. So we should be able to get around him. We're currently in 16th. Let's add Ward Burton. So we'd be like virtually right now, 15th right now. If it has cycled through. That looks like Ryan Newman coming out of pit road. And that's the final car. He's going to be in front of us. It is 14th place. So an overall net loss. It is what it is. We got to see if we could get some spots back. Matt Kenseth is one that we can get back. And then Kurt Busch would be two to get us back to 12. And I think I see Kurt Busch in that red car ahead of Kenseth. So we got to run down Kenseth. We have 12 laps to do it. He's on much older tires. So we got to push this thing as hard as we can. This is going to be very close. Eight laps to go. We're slowly catching those two. That's Kurt Busch and Matt Kenseth. Kevin Harvick is currently in the top five. So that's why these are very important positions, knowing the tough tracks that we have coming up every single position matters to stay in the top five in points i think ricky rudd is also in the top five uh no he's not so ricky rudd's somewhere there but i think ricky rudd's doing well who is in fifth right now and kevin harvick is doing well who's sixth in points so we just got to keep pushing those those tires on those two cars they're falling off that dewalt ford is getting closer but can we catch him in time seven laps to go and i'm only gaining like a tenth a lap if i can get in the draft it'll be quicker but right now, I'm just not gaining enough. Their tires should be falling off a cliff for about right now. They should be around 25, 26 laps on their tires. Meanwhile, we only have around 20. This is not what we need. God damn it. Stupid lap cars. Get out of the way. Damn it. I don't care. Yep. Uh, we're literally catching them. And stupid Ashton Lewis wants to put up a... F oh my god. Damn it. Stupid lap cars, I swear to God. Uh, that's probably it, because I'm wasting my time around this stupid Kodak car. God damn it. Uh, you know how frustrating it is to push as hard as we've been pushing, slowly catching, slowly catching, only for this stupid idiot to be in the way? I mean, it's just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Four laps to go. He's going to block now. I mean, just a pathetic waste of time. Just get out of the way, please. And stop trying to fight back. You're like three laps down. No one cares about you. Hit the wall, please. Get out of here. God damn it. Three laps to go. He's down below me again, isn't he? Oh, <laughs> uh, God. I just can't believe this. I can't run my line. It's just un It's just so pathetically stupid. It is so pathetically stupid. I could have caught Kurt Busch by now. But no. We got to keep doing this stupid fight. All right. Uh, he's running my line, can't do anything. Still trying to catch Kurt Busch in the meantime. I really don't care about him. Just get out of my way. All right, there we go. We clear again. Now we have our eyes set on Kurt Busch. White flag lap. 
starting to get loose coming out of the corners. We're going to have one shot of this. There's a blown engine. Mark Martin, that's one position. Mark Martin was in front of us. He just blew up. So off he goes. That's P13. Now we can get back to P12. Please get back to P12. Come on. Come on. It's going to be in three and four. We're going to have to make the move in three and four. It's not going to be one and two. So just get up here. Set it up. There we go. Keep Mr. Ashton Lewis behind. Kurt Busch is going to block. So all we got to do is go up here. Hopefully he follows. There we go. Creep up, creep up, creep up. Dive it down. Gas it up. That's a perfect final corner to make sure we get uh, right there to make sure we get 12. Okay. Huh. I mean, to be honest, I think we ran a perfect race. Like I said at the beginning, uh, Kevin Harvey finishes in fourth. We finished 20 seconds behind the leader. But like I said at the beginning, you can't hide at this track. There's no tricks. There's nothing. It's just pure speed. And that entire race, I think we ran it perfectly. And P12 is the best we could do. I mean, we really made no mistakes. The the pit crew cost us a little bit. Um, maybe one or two positions. But, uh, I mean, best case scenario, we would have finished 10th. So, I think 12th is pretty good. Well, we didn't get the money for the uh, primary sponsorship. But that's fine. I'm not really too stressed about it. Ricky Rudd finished 6th. That's all I want to see. So, Harvick and Rudd. Um, Gained a good amount of uh, good amount of points, 160 and 150. Uh, we gained 127. Actually, that's a, that's a bigger gap than I thought between those two positions. Um, but yeah, so we lost, you know, 33 points to Harvick. So that will be down to around 90. Uh, Ricky Rudd is not too far behind. I think we got to take that. You know, we got to get something here at Phoenix. I don't think Phoenix is a terrible racetrack for us. I mean, I think we're usually pretty good. Um, maybe maybe I think it's worse than it actually is because I know it's the old version of Phoenix and I know we usually are pretty good there, but it's the tracks after that um, How did we do at Phoenix earlier in the season? Uh, oh, we didn't go to Phoenix Is that I keep forgetting this Phoenix only oh Phoenix only has one race date. Yeah, so we yeah, we actually didn't go to Phoenix. So Yeah, I don't know <laughs> It's been a long time since I raced there obviously so I don't really know what the situation is, but let's check the standings Ricky Rudd is 90 points behind, and Kevin Harvick is 91 points behind. So those are the two guys that we're looking at. We got a little bit of that buffer. We got to get something here at Phoenix. I'm hoping I'm better there than I think I am. Um, if we get something at Phoenix, the Rock is going to be pretty challenging, but we should have a pretty decent car. We'll actually have a pretty decent car for Phoenix as well. And then Homestead's going to be really difficult because at Homestead, Will we have a, a fresh car? I think we will have a fresh car at Homestead. So maybe, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. But enjoy the rest of your 4th of July, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Comment down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Enjoy your day. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Take care of yourselves and peace out.